Hi, it's John Paul at the 2013 JP Rocky Mountain 3-Gun. We're talking to as many people as we can. Here's another JP team shooty, the, the famous Kelly Neal. Infamous. Infamous, yeah. <laughs> Kelly, what do you do for a living? I am a deputy county attorney for the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. Putting bad people away? I, yeah, I specialize in uh, drug enforcement. Oh, yes. <laughs> of which there is much uh, much of for us. <laughs> Because well, I, mean, I work in Arizona, and of course we border Mexico, so I deal a lot of with with uh, Mexican drug trafficking organizations. All right. Well, hope we can make some headway on that. Now, what division yeah. did you shoot here? I shot open, which is unusual for me. Yeah. Usually, what, what usually shoot uh, what? Tac ops. I usually shoot tac ops or tac limited, yep. and this time I shot tac, uh, open, actually because I'm going to shoot crimson trace in two weeks, and that is one division. It's open class, so I thought, well, why change gear? I'll just shoot the open open at this match as well. Tell me how your rifle is configured. I'm shooting a, uh, well, JP, 18-inch uh, ultra lightweight barrel with a Benny Cooley comp, uh, JP trigger. Uh, it's the side charger. And what's your optic? Uh, loophole. Yeah, two optics, right? Yeah, two optics. A loophole uh, 1 to 6, uh, Mark 6 with the uh, CMR, CMRW reticle. And I shot uh, hand loaded 53 grain uh, VMAX. That's a great bullet. <laughs> it is a great bullet. It is a great, it shoots really flat, it's got a really high BC. Uh, I wasn't planning on shooting that bullet, but I sh was hunting prairie dogs, shooting prairie dogs with it uh, last month. I'm like, this bullet's great, I'm gonna compete with it. Yeah, I just recently got some of those, got the highest BC, I think, in that weight class, and you can really flip them out there, about yeah. like 3,200 out of that barrel. It's got a substantially higher yeah. BC than all the 55 grain. A super accuracy. Yes, right. it's accurate in all, all the guns I've shot it in. What kind of shotgun you use? Oh, open? and I also have a delta point on the handguard. That's what I said. Yeah. Delta point <laughs> right. Gotta have two scopes. It's yeah, because in open you can have two optics. You can, anything goes in open. In fact, I think I've seen people actually run three optics. <laughs> uh, that's a little much, but I had two. I think more because you kind of are supposed to. Because <laughs> I usually shoot with one optic, but put the delta point on there just because I'm in open. And how'd you finish here? Uh, I was second. Second to I was second. who? To Jerry Mishlick. I the expect, king, yeah. yeah, it's hard to be Jerry in his own division, but it could be done. I can, I, 96 percent, I came yeah, close. You, you get that close to Jerry, that, that's that's doing great. And tell me about uh, tell me about that shotgun you're shooting with. Well, I'm shooting a borrowed uh, Firebird Precision. Uh, it's one of the Actol. I think 1919 is the model number. So it's a magazine fed. It configures like an AR-15 with the safety and the grip. Uh, yeah, box magazine fed. And charging handle up here, kind of like a, kind of like an old HK G3, really. And it's also got a charging handle on the side on the uh, bolt carrier. But, you know, it's it's a different, it's very different. I'm used to shooting a you know, Versa Max or tube shotgun. That shotgun feels very different. But I tell you what, I was, I was impressed with it, and it is accurate. With slugs, that is a really accurate shotgun. Yeah, I've got a tricked out Sega that also is very accurate with slug. Totally different feel than a uh, tube type yeah, shotgun. Oh, it's yeah, just, yeah. yeah. I, I do not like it for the aerial targets because the, the weight of the magazine feels so sluggish compared to a, right. a tube gun. But for shooting the stuff on the ground, that, that thing is great. Now, last year, uh, Kelly and I teamed up and thought and shot the uh, Thunderbird uh, team. Thunder Beast. Thunder Beast. Thunder, Thunder Beast Team Challenge in uh, Logan, New Mexico. And that was one of these uh, long range tactical matches. Uh, I shot primary, Kelly shot secondary. And what did we finish? Ninth? Eighth or Eighth, ninth? Something Eighth like that. Ninth. So we had a top 10 finish. Actually did real well at that. Yeah. And that was a real challenging we match. Got, to, we hadn't practiced together. So when we started, we were kind of here. We got way better. That's <laughs> if right. that match had kept going, we would have been Yeah, high. that match would have went for another week. <laughs> We'd have been in the top three for sure. We got, we, we got way better as we went. So it's hard to do team matches, you know, team configuration where, you know, one guy's spotting and, and you haven't practiced up. But I thought I was, I was thought we shot pretty well. No, and I your phone data is spot on. I was impressed with that phone. You didn't even need me. You just needed that phone. I needed you to point me at the targets because <laughs> well, I couldn't true. see the targets. That's true. I did have to find the targets. <laughs> and then the phone would tell us what to do. Right. <laughs> All right, well, we had a great time there, and we uh, we shot well. And uh, here we are again, and I uh, hope to see Kelly in the future at the next match. This is John at the JP Rocky Mountain 3-Gun 2013.